hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a short anniversary flyer using adobe photoshop before any further i do let's get started here i'm going to use a5 paper size then go to print select a5 then change it to inches and leave your resolution at 300 click on great we are using rogb color code because it's for social media post and here are the resource file i'm going to use i'm going to open the test documents Then I'll position it over here. Then come over to your test document to copy your test. Select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. And here I'm going to change the fonts to Open Sans. Then open the space, reduce the font size, open the space to 8%, go to your resource file and I'm going to import this image, reduce the size. Then apply your layer mask and blend it. Then go to your resource file and I'm going to import this golden frame. Increase the size. I will reduce it a little. Here I will import this ray bomb here. Rasterize it. Select your magic tool. Then click and delete the white area. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then select your market tool. And I'm going to copy it. Turn this one off. And I will make use of this one. Alright, then reduce the size. And I'm going to copy this test here. Select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then drag it over here and increase the size. Go to your test. Then make it bold. Then reduce the size and position it. Then go to your blending option. Then I'm going to make use of this bevel and elbows. Then the style I'm using inner bevel and chisel hard. Then the depth 500. The size make it 10. Then choose this contour over here and go to this contour, 
make use of this one or preferably I'm going to use this one then go to your gradient overlay these are the color I'm going to use then ctrl plus v to paste select the color then you paste it so do that to all okay we are done then you click on ok to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate then highlight it and type 0 okay go back to your test and i'm going to change it to extra bold italic Then select the second one, change it to extra bold italic. Drag this one down. I will position it around here. Then hold your control key while you click, then you will see this line over there. Then go to your select, modify and expand it by 10. Then select the first one, 2. Select your eraser tool. Then click on it and click OK. Then you erase this part. Then press Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then I will drag the ribbon above the zero, something like this. Then I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I will change the font to Trajan Pro 3. Make it bold. Then I'll bring it to this position. Rotate it. Okay. Then I'm going to copy this layer style and drag it over here. Now double click on the layer style. Then I'm going to turn off the layer style. Then change it to 6. Then click OK. Then come over to your test document to copy. Now I'm going to select the shape tool. Then change it to parts select around here then you click then arrange your shape properly something like this 
Now, you can see the shape that appeared there, then you click. That is after you select your test tool and your Ctrl plus V to paste it. Now, increase the font size. All right, change the font color. Then before then, highlight it and change the font color to white. All right. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then click on the test. Use your arrow key then to move it up. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test to Ctrl plus V to paste. So what I did is to copy the layer style and double click on it then turn off the gradient to leave the shadow then reduce the font size all right now I'm going to draw a cycle also import this cycle frame here and i will drag it to this position reduce the size increase it a little bit then you draw the cycle position it in this frame Ensure that it's properly fixed. Okay. Then go to your test document and I'm going to copy the date. Ctrl plus V to paste. Change the font color to black. Reduce the font size. Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce it. Then remove the boldness and change it to regular. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one. Then change it to regular. I like it. Ctrl plus V to paste. I reduce the size. Reduce the size. Then flip it vertical. Drag it up. Use your arrow key then to drag it up. Then position it around here. You should follow the celebration. Now what I did is to turn it, to convert it to white by using Ctrl plus U. Hue and saturation. So now we are going to group it. Ctrl plus G to group. Then I'm going to import this background, increase the size. Okay. 
and go to filter select blur question blur then make it 26.3 then you click ok go back to your resource file import this image scale it out a little it's ok then drag it up then change the bloody mode to soft light apply a layer mask blend the top all right go back to your resource file and import this one and drag it down here increase the size drag it up change the bloody mode to soft light apply a layer mask blend the bottom and the top then you will have something like this also import this one you drag it up scale it a little it's all right then go to block Gaussian blow then make it 10.0 then change the bloody mode to linear dodge add apply a layer mask and blend the bottom something like this it's okay now let me know in the comment section if you like it this way now group it this is our background please if you are not yet subscribed click on the subscription button and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video now i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy select a text to ctrl plus v to paste then make it bold change the font color to white then increase decrease the font size then ctrl plus a to align apply center alignment and ctrl plus d to deselect draw a rectangle then remove the fill color and apply stroke color white then increase the size to 4 ctrl plus j to duplicate this one i like it ctrl plus a then copy the location ctrl plus c to copy the ctrl plus v to paste reduce the size then you drag it up apply vertical and horizontal alignment ctrl plus d to deselect and i'm going to copy the time ctrl plus c to copy then draw a rectangle then apply a corner shape all right then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste reduce the font size change the font color to black then position it at the center here
then draw another white rectangle here then I'm going to import this icon then group it social media all right Now I will turn this one on and reduce the size. Rasterize it. Select your magic tool. Then you click over here. Ctrl plus U for hue and saturation. Then change the brightness to black. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Zoom in. Then turn this one on. Reduce it and do the same thing as you we do to the first one. Then I'm going to copy the social media test, select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. I'm using the font Open Sans. Now reduce the font size. Alright. So do the same thing to the rest. Then align all and select horizontal alignment so that it will be all equal. So we are done with that. Now we are going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Change the font to Trajan Pro 3. Then make it bold. Reduce the font size. And drag it over here. Now duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Go back to your test. Then copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then highlight it, Ctrl plus V to paste. So, the remaining thing we are going to do now is to import our light flare. So before then, then I'm going to save it. All right. So this is the light flare. Import it. Reduce the size. Then I'm going to use this lightning. Rotate it this way. Place it 
please subscribe for more video all right so as you can see it then what i will do now then you can see the line that appear here then i'm going to go back select the light flare and then apply layer mask and clean up that area so that is the end of this tutorial thank you so much for following please subscribe for more video and uh, also if you need any of my flyer please go to my fiverr account to make your order i really appreciate all your following thank you